In this video, we will configure a domain name in Mailgun. Mailgun is a transactional email service provider that allows you to send email from your website using SMTP and API. With the Mailgun Pay As You Grow plan, you will be charged for the actual usage. At the time of this recording, it costs 80 cents for sending out 1000 emails. Click on Sending. Click on Domains. Then you need to click on Add New Domain. Here you have option to select region. Uh, if your web server is in USA, you can use US region. If it is near EU, then you can select EU region. This will have different API endpoints. Uh, here you need to enter your domain name. Instead of entering the actual domain name, enter a subdomain like mg.yourdomain.com. Click on advanced setting. If you want to change DKIM key length, you can change it here. Click on add domain. Now we need to enter these DNS records in the DNS zone for the domain name. The domain name is registered with the Google domains. Let us log into Google domains. This is the domain. We need to click on manage. From the left menu, click on DNS. Scroll down. You can see the DNS records for the domain here. We need to add few DNS entries. For that, you can use this Add button here on the top. So go back to the Mailgun. First entry is a TXT type record and the host name is mg. And this is a value. So let us copy the mg part only. A domain name you don't have to enter again. So go back to Google Domains. Instead of at the rate, enter the mg part. Next drop down is DNS record type. We need TXT record created. So select TXT from the drop down. This is the value. Copy it, paste here, and click on add. We got a confirmation message on the top. Changes to the domain is saved. They will take effect within the next 48 hours. So you need to wait. Normally you don't have to wait that much time. Okay, let us go back and do the next. Next is a TXT type record and the value is smtp.domainkey.mg. Enter the key name here. Copy the value for the record. Go back from the list. Select TXT record. Then you can paste the value here. Click on add. Next we need to add a record of type MX and host name is MG and priority 10 and this is the value. Just copy the MG part only. Go back. Put the MG in the first text box and from the drop down select MX and we need to add the mail server here. This is the mail server. Instead of adding, we need to add the priority, then the MX account. Next, we need to add this. Again, priority is 10. Now click on add. That will add to MX record. This is the MX record for the main domain. Since we have put MG here on the first text box, we will have MG on this side. This is the MX record we just added. This is MG, MX, and the priority and the domain. Finally, we need to add a C name. The host name is email.mg. Enter that in the first text box. Then from the drop down, select C name. Copy the mailgun.org value and paste here and click add. So we added all the DNS records. Now we can click the verify DNS setting button in mailgun. Almost everything is green now. First two text entry have green text MX record also verified. The last entry is not yet verified. This is because it is the last DNS entry we have added. We need to wait some time for the DNS to propagate. So let us check again and see if this get updated. Now the domain name is verified and you can send email. You have two ways to send email. This is the SMTP. This is for sending email with API. You can use various programming language like Ruby, Python, PHP, C hash for SMTP. You can select here. That will show the default credentials. You can go back to the domains. Now you can see this domain have a green tick mark. That means the domain is verified and ready to use. To get the email credentials, you can go to domain settings, then select the domain. Then you can go to SMDP credentials to get the default SMDP password. And you can also create a new SMDP user here. Create SMDP credentials. Now we have an SMDP user created. This is SMDP user. 
and the password the new password has been generated you can copy it from here click on copy if you want reset you can click on the reset password that will generate a new password i don't need this uh, test user we just created click on delete to delete this user to change password of the default account this is the default account that you can delete click on reset password that will reset the password of the default account you can copy the password from here if you want smtp api created click on sending api keys then you can add a key here this is the api key that you can use with the various programming language to send the email once you start sending emails you will get a, a report by clicking on the logs this will show the detailed log for each mail you send and that is all you need to do to configure mailgun thank you for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe for more videos